Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced SQL problems on topics such as select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. Okay, in this video, we are going to solve this question called salesperson and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the ninth video of the series called salesperson. And if I look at the companies, this question has been asked in so Uber a couple of times in last one year. So kind of an important question. Let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called salesperson with five different columns, sales ID, name, salary, commission rate, and hire date. Sale ID is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table indicates the name and ID of the salesperson alongside their salary commission rate and hire date another table is company with three different columns com id name city com id is the primary key for this table each row of this table indicates the name and id of a company and the city in which the company is located we are also given a third table called orders with three different columns order id order date com id sales id amount Order ID is the primary key for this table. Com ID is a foreign key that is a reference column to the com ID from the common company table. Sales ID is the foreign key for the salesperson table. Each row of this table contains information about one order. This includes the ID of the company, the ID of the salesperson, the date of the order and the amount paid. We are asked to write a solution to find the names of all salesperson who did not have any orders related to the company with the name red. So just read the language of the question, all salesperson. So we need to do a outer join just like we did in our previous video. Outer join of the salesperson table on the orders and then on the companies because the the way to uh, join salesperson table with the uh, orders table is through the sales ID. And then since we also need the name of the company, so we need to join this orders table using the com ID column with the com ID column of the company. Okay, return the result in any order. Let's go through this example and see what do we need in our output. So here, if we look at it, so we have five different salesperson and various companies and these are their orders. So which all salesperson do not have any orders related to the company red so if i look at john right so john sales id one has one order right which is related to com id equal to one com id one is red so john should not be in our output because john has the order related to company red similarly if i go and find for amy for amy sales id is two so for sales id two there is nothing so obviously there is no order so amy should be in our output for mark sale id three for mark sale id three again nothing so mark should also be in our output Pam, if I look at sales ID 4, sales ID 4, two different orders uh, for company ID 3 and 1. So 3 is yellow, but 1 is red. So the person has one order from the red. So Pam should not be in our output. And for Alex, 5. So we have one order for company ID 4 that is green. So no order from the red. So in our output, we should have Amy, Mark and Alex. And that is what we have in our output. So since we, you know, already establish that we need to perform an outer join because we need to keep every person from the salesperson table so what we can do is we can do from this table called sales person let's alias this has s left to join the orders table because the only way this table can be joined is to orders table you cannot join this table directly to the company table because there is no common column so orders table alias as o on s dot sales id is equal to o dot sales id o dot sales id and since we also need the name of the company so we also need to make sure that we left to join the company table aliased as c on o dot company id is equal to c dot company id okay and let me keep on because they, if i you know keep all the columns there would be a lot of redundancy and it would be very wide table so let me just keep the required columns so return so since a sales id is the primary key and just like we explained in our last video that whenever you are you know whenever you need the names of the people because if in your output you need the names of the people names can be same right for two different people names can be same but a unique identifier would be unique so always keep a unique identifier whenever you need this kind of output so s dot sales id because sales id comes from the salesperson table then we also need the names so s dot 
name then uh, only thing that we are concerned with is the name of the uh, company so we can go c dot name and if we want we can just keep the order id just to make sure that whether there was some order or not although we do not need anything from this but like let's just keep it so uh, o dot order id as well okay let me just drag it to the left so that it's easier okay and let me go ahead and run this and let's see what do we get in our output so if i look at it so i have in our output the sales id the name of the person this is the name of the company and the order id obviously as we saw for amy and mark there was no order so nulls and nulls and then for pam there was two orders one from yellow one from red and for alex only one order similarly for john only one order but that is from red so just by looking at it what do we need in our output amy mark and alex so from this moment you can either take the common table expression route and how can you do that using common table expression so what you can do is you can save this in a common table expression right so this entire thing is saved into common table expression and then you simply say that okay find the sales id of the people who's come who has ordered from a company called red and exclude them from the sales ids and obviously whatever you are left with that is going to give you the names of people who have not ordered anything from the company called red but there is a smarter way to do that how here the question says that any person who has ordered from the company called red that should not be in our output so what if we assign the names red as value one and everything else as zero and then we group by the sale id and name and try to sum up that values that we are assigning so let me just you know firstly let's do this so uh, let me use the if function so if the name and the name columns come from this name is basically the company name so if c dot name is equal to red then you assign the value one else you assign the value zero and let me alias this as let's say let's create this as a flag let me go ahead and run this so what i'm saying is if you look at this so here if you group by the sale id and name and sum this flag so what would the sum of flag be for john it would be one which means that the person has ordered from a company called red what would be the sum for amy zero mark zero what would be the sum for pam one plus zero that is one again because this person has ordered something so that should not be in our output similarly for alex that would be zero so it would be zero for only those people who have not ordered anything from red right so what you can do is you can apply this logic so you can group by group by the s dot sales id again the same logic that a sales id is unique names can be similar for two people as well so even though you need name in your output make sure that you group by sales id first otherwise you might not pass certain test cases so group by this and then having right because we need the aggregate filter based on an aggregate that is sum of the flag so having sum of the flag is equal to zero now what is the flag that we created because in our out since we are grouping by only sales id and s name right so we cannot have all these columns in our output you cannot do that so what you need to do is by this flag you can simply replace this flag by this right so let me just cut this part here and have this this is basically doing the same thing and then let me return okay so we need sales id and sales name okay so if i go ahead and remove this and since we are grouping by sales id and sales name we can have that in your return part let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output not yet complete that is why it says wrong answer but let's see what do we have in our output so now we are only left with those people who have no orders from company called red in our output we do not need the sales id we only need the name and there should not be any alias to the column so simply we can go ahead and remove the sales id part so yes we are grouping by but it is possible that you do not return that right now let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get so now this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases this is accepted and this is how we do it
so not a very difficult question but yeah tricky because you have a lot of tables and you need to make sure that you join in the correct manner so that for every salesperson you are able to you know calculate whatever is required in your output and we use a better way you can do this again by common table expression let me know if you know about common table expression let me know how the solution will look like in the comment section below so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video